Today's video is going to be about how to breathe, but I'm not talking about how to exercise breathing or whatever else. There are plenty of videos out there that do that. That also is a little confusing because they're like, move your diaphragm two centimeters this way or that way. That doesn't help me. I can't see my diameter or diaphragm or um, anything, you know? So don't tell me that. The esophagus, the, what you want to do is have, ugh, forget it. What I want to talk to you today about is how to actually breathe and do it naturally the way we're supposed to talk about it and the way it needs to be up more teaching. So here's the secret. The secret sauce is just perform the breath. That's all. If you perform the breath, everything after that pretty much takes care of itself. Move your tongue this way, move it, forget about it. Perform the breath. And here's what I mean by that. If I'm gonna sing a song about loving someone, like let's talk about love. Love is a very dynamic thing, right? I love my mom, I love my dog, I love my daughter and my son. I love my, my mother and father-in-law. I love sushi. Actually, I don't really love sushi. Maybe we'll take that back. But other things, you get the point. There are different love areas of how I love things. So I wouldn't go to my dog and be like, I love you. To my dog, that's super weird, don't do that, right? And I wouldn't go to my wife and go, I love you, I love you, I love you, right? But look at my breath, the way that I perform. Rewind, push J on your keyboard. I wind and watch how I perform my breath. I didn't go, I love you. That's super weird, so why do we breathe that way? When we're singing on a song or whatever, let me grab my mic. When we're singing on a song and we're saying something, why in the world would we go, I love, don't do that. Perform the breath and how it comes into the next section. So here's what I mean. If you're going to sing a song, let's say, let's use the word love because it's so diversified. Um, even when you hate someone, you can say that you love them, right? I hate you, but I love you. So I love you. Going into this and saying I love you to someone has different levels of depth. This is how you breathe. If you are saying I love you, as in you're the most dearest person to me, and in this quiet moment of us sitting down on a bench, you know, holding hands, I'm visualizing that the I love you is not going to go, I, it's going to be more of a, see, I even sang it wrong because I didn't breathe right. I didn't perform the breath. Perform the breath. I love you. It has more of a, you know, if I'm going to sing, I love you, but really because I'm begging the person back and they're leaving me and like, no, please don't leave me. I love you. I know I haven't said it before. It would be more like this. I love you. Did you see how I performed the breath? I, it's a, no, please don't leave me. It's a rushed breath in fast. How fast you take in your breath or how slow you take in your breath or how long you take in your breath, that's the secret sauce. If you're going to perform for someone, if you're going to truly mean what you say, when you sing, you have to match the breath to it. Otherwise, it's not gonna matter. You see, I just did that right now to emphasize what type of performance. If you believe me, if I'm sincere or not, other things. That's the secret. Perform the breath. It's more important to do that and everything else will fall in line, I promise. Find a way to sing.